a Boeing 757 took off just before midnight and climbed to 7,000 feet. Right after that, the stick shaker activated. This confused the pilots that the aircraft was flying dangerously slow just seconds after the indicators had warned them that the airspeed was too high. Six February 1996, Gregorio Luperon International Airport, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. A Boeing 757 operated by Birgen Air was on a chartered flight to Frankfurt, Germany with a stopovers in Gander, Canada and Berlin, Germany. On board the flight were 176 passengers and 13 crew members. The crew were consisted of 11 Turks and 2 Dominicans. Among the passengers, 167 were from Germany, 9 from Poland and 2 from Dominican Republic. The captain was Ahmad Irdem. 61 years of age, with an experience of 24,750 flight hours, including 1,875 hours on Boeing 757 under his belt. The first officer was Aykut Gergin, 34 years old. He had an experience of 3,500 flight hours, including only 71 hours on Boeing 757. The relief captain was Muhlis Evrin Soglu, 51, with an experience of 15,000 flight hours, including 121 hours on Boeing 757. The flight took off from Puerto Plata after an hour of delay. The first officer confirmed that his indicator was normal. The aircraft took off without any notable events. The aircraft was climbing and reached at an altitude of 3,500 feet and was flying with a ground speed of 273 knots. As the plane was passing through 4,700 feet, 
the captain's ASI with 350 knots. The autopilot increased the pitch of attitude and reduced power in order to lower the plane's airspeed. The autopilot, which was taking its airspeed information from the same equipment that was providing faulty readings to the captain's ASI, increased the pitch of attitude and reduced power in order to lower the plane's airspeed. The co-pilot's ASI was giving a correct reading of 200 knots and decreasing. The captain responded that both indicators were incorrect. The pitch attitude was increasing and the airspeed was decreasing. The aircraft entered the stall which activated the stick shaker. The autopilot reached the limits of its programming and disengaged. This warning confused the pilots that the aircraft was flying dangerously slow. Just seconds after, the indicators had warned them that the speed was too high. From that commotion, the aircraft began to lose altitude. When the captain asked about the position of the power levers, the first officer responded that both were pulled back. The captain immediately ordered not to pull the throttle back. As the aircraft was still in a nose of attitude, the engines were all prevented from receiving adequate airflow, which was essential to match the increase in thrust. The left engine flamed out, causing the right engine, which was still at full power, to throw the aircraft into a spin. The plane hit the water with a pitch attitude of minus 34.3 degree and a bank angle of 34.6 degrees. All occupants died and the impact resulted in 100% destruction of the aircraft. The investigation was done by the authorities from Dominican Republic. The investigators concluded that the mud dover wasps blocked the uncovered pitot tubes which fed the captain's airspeed indicator resulting to malfunction. None of the pitot tubes were recovered, so investigators were not able to determine the certainty of what caused the blockage. They believed that the black and yellow mud dover was most likely the culprit. This winged insect was well known to Dominican pilots which tend to establish its nest in artificial cylindrical structures or make its own cylindrical nest out of mud. The aircraft had not flown in 20 days. However, this was not the duration for which pitots remained uncovered. 
but evidently gave enough time to allow the wasp to construct nest. They reconfirmed that the pilots should have followed existing procedures and aborted the takeoff when they found that the airspeed indicators were already in significant disagreement as the plane was accelerated down the runway. A nesting of tiny insects led to a series of mistakes which brought down a computerized passenger jet which was known for its safety and reliability. This investigation report may serve as a reminder for the ground staffs who will inspect the aircraft before the flight. In this present time, where many of the aircrafts are grounded because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it is necessary to closely check those tubes that insects might build their nest. This is all for today. Click here to subscribe our channel so that you won't miss our new video. Give a thumbs up if you are watching until now. I will see you in the next video. This is Sunil saying thank you for watching.